time for a Minimax. Here's how you can use the forces of things spinning around to defy gravity. Well, sort of. Take a ping pong ball and put it in a plastic container like a cup or this is the top of a CD spindle. Put it in and start spinning it around. If you do it right, you can get the ball spinning only on the sides of your container and not touching the bottom. That's centripetal force at work. Oh. It works a lot better and it's much more impressive if you have something that doesn't have a bottom. Fortunately, I do. This bucket doesn't have a bottom. Put the ping pong ball in the bucket and spin it around. And if I'm very careful, I can lift the bucket into the air and ta-da, I'm defying the force of gravity. Science! Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, is that it? Is that all you're gonna do? No, of course not. This is Science Max Experiments at Large. This is a garbage can with no bottom in it. And this is a bag of golf balls. Let's see what happens when we put them together. Well, I managed to keep one golf ball in my garbage can. But as you can see, it works really well. And there you go, sort of maxed out. This is a garbage can with the bottom cut out, and this is a soccer ball. I'm gonna see if I can keep the soccer ball inside the garbage can using centripetal force. Okay. It's working! It's very tiring, though. How do you throw out a garbage can that's been used? Science! <laughs>